This is the practice plan for Snyder's 530 practice on Thursday. We're gonna do three sets of stations to start um, with three stations in the first two sets and then two stations in the last two sets and one with the game. The first station, this will be six minute stations. We'll run this for 18 minutes. Have Parker work with, the, um, with Isaac over here. Down here, we'll put two cones near the goal line and then two cones near the blue line, but with some space. You're gonna have an X and an O. The other players can just be standing right here. One of the players will have a puck. So they're facing, um, they're not facing each other. So if the O is facing the puck, the X is right behind him. And on the command, he's gotta protect it and try to escape through the gate. The two cones at, uh, behind the X and this X is trying to skate. If he gets a turnover, is trying to skate through these two cones. So the purpose of the drill is we wanna protect the puck at all times. And this drill, if you show the puck first or give the other player access to the puck, um, there's probably gonna be a turnover. And if you're not on the defensive side of your gate, um, they're gonna skate through. The next drill is just pivot passing. We've done this. So we can cheat the net over um, just a bit because there won't be a, um, actually no, just keep it there. Hopefully we hit the net. We'll have an O start here with an X at the bottom of the circle and X at the top of the circle. O's gonna start with the puck. He's gonna make a pass to the X. He's gonna skate at the X and open pivot and try to get as wide as he can and get a pass back before the hash marks. Then he's gonna repeat that step. One, two more times, so a total of three times. On the last one, on the third pass, the second pass from the bottom X that he gets back, he's gonna skate up make a pass at the top X, curl around the circle. This X passes down to the bottom X, who gives it back to this player who should be above the hash marks for a shot. We want them to time the drill, so don't have them down here and then they're getting a pass. It's like a, um, you know, a shot tip. We want, it, we want it to be a clean pass up here, head up, hit the net. Next drill is real simple. They can be a little bit below the blue line and they'll just be partner kind of passing and we just want deceptive passes so they're literally passing back and forth but they have to make a move to the left or the right or do a spin or look one way and you know uh, do a head fake something other than just passing the puck back and forth after about four minutes of that we're going to have them just do the pass to their backhand two touch to their forehand pass the other player's backhand two touch of the forehand. So it's a two touch passing drill, we've done it. The next set of stations, we'll start right here. Isaac can be in the net. We can put a bumper here and a bumper here. We can have the extra players. So it's gonna be two X's or an O against two X's. The X's are just gonna chip a puck in and attack this O. We're gonna to try to get a hit and pin. The second X is gonna pick up the puck and he gets a, just a mini breakaway on Isaac. So obviously working hard uh, to support and I want the two players that um, are, I guess, coming out of the battle. So the O is gonna back check with pressure. This X is gonna to try to join and make it a, a two on O. Um, now obviously I don't want this player to have a breakaway and stop and pull up and look for the X. If they've got a chance to score, score. But if they can make it a two on O, make it a two on O. So it's a little bit of uh, you know, reading and reacting. The second drill is gonna be a bumper read and react. So how it's gonna set up is we'll have just a line behind the goal line, or behind the dot, I'm sorry, at the circle. And then we're gonna have one X here with a puck. There's gonna be the two X's that are next two up starting on the dot and one behind the dot are gonna be the next two players to go in the drill. This player is gonna be about a foot away from the bumper and he's gonna flip the puck over the bumper and then he's going to attack it either way. So let's say he attacks it this way. As soon as that puck touches the ice, that doesn't mean the boards, that doesn't mean you know the net, it means touches the ice, 
This player on the dot leaves and goes to pressure. The third player is a support player, so they have to read. If the pressure's coming from over here, the support player's got to come down here. We want the player that originally flipped it that's going to win the puck race to be active of where the pressure's coming from and make a pass to the support player who's going to kick it to the next X in line, and that'll reset the drill, and then we'll do it again. So a lot of shoulder checking in this drill, a lot of quick decision making, and a little bit of skill trying to flip the puck over the bumper without it touching the boards if we can. The last drill, we're definitely going to move the net on this one. We'll be down here. We don't want a goalie for this, but we'll have just players just above the hash marks. The puck piles will be to the sides of the players on the inside. One player will leave without a puck, get a pass from the opposite line, go behind the net. When they get behind the net, they're going to have their head up. So they're looking, looking, looking. As soon as they get beyond the net, they're going to make a hard pass. If the player who gave them the pass, this player is going to catch and shoot. Okay, so I don't want this player to skate three feet out. and I want them to have their head up and be ready to make this pass as soon as the passing lane's open. After this pass is made, after the shot's made, I'm sorry, this player shoots. Now he takes off or she takes off. Obviously, they want to try to get a wide angle if they can, so when this pass is made, they can get some speed behind the net, their heads up, and it's just a continuous drill. <laughs> Last couple uh, stations. Um, the first one, we'll just put, um, we'll put some bumpers here in the middle, <laughs> and it's just a little weave passing drill, so... Two players are gonna start. They're gonna crisscross through the bumpers, making give and goes. And they're gonna get a two on O shot. Um, this one, they're gonna shoot on, um, they're gonna shoot on an empty net. If Parker's in the net, he can take that station. The last drill before we get into our game is going to be a, a D to D shot and then a pass with pressure. So we'll have forward, forward, D, D, and then we're gonna have a forward in front of the net, a D in front of the net, and then we're gonna have an X here, and this X will be a defensive forward. So they're gonna be in D zone coverage, simulating our weak side winger. And obviously if the puck's low in the corner, we just want to have this forward pop out initially, and then he can move down the pass is made to the point. What's going to happen is this pass is going to be made to the point. This X is going to attack the D. The D is trying to move his feet, go D to D for a shot. Obviously, this X is following up. Or this forward is following the pass up to the D, so we have an option on the weak side of the ice after the DDD pass is made. And this forward's curling, and he's just being patient in this circle, not getting in this area, right, but being an option. And then after the shot's made, then he can attack the net so there's some spacing and we don't have two players on top of each other. This forward needs to try to screen the goalie and compete with this D in front and either lock him up for this guy to come bang home the rebound um, or try to be elusive and slip to either side of the net for a rebound attempt. After this pass is made, each drill is going to go, or each rep is going to get two pucks. So on the coach's command on this one, Chad, you'll say, uh, you'll blow the whistle. Now this player has to come in the corner. These D have to shift over. This forward has to reset. This forward stays in front. This winger who came out obviously comes back, and at drill, we run the same thing from the opposite side. Last game is just going to be uh, a Gretzky suitor game, so we'll split the we'll split the team up into X's and O's. So it will be three O's versus three X's. The X's will have the suitor first, and the O's are going to have Gretzky first. So we'll call that go, and this will be SX. So 
Chad, you'll chip a puck in. If the O's get it, they pass behind the net, and they're on offense. If the X's get it, they have to hit their suitor for offense. He can shoot or pass. So Gretzky can move laterally. Suter can move laterally. They're obviously both teams are playing defense. Both teams are playing offense, depending on if they win their puck battle. The last um, portion of this, we got 15 minutes. So after seven and a half minutes, obviously have the X's be the Gretzky's and the O's be the suitors. And that's how we'll finish up practice.